A new case puts the global clergy sex abuse crisis in the spotlight once again. Pope Francis has accepted the resignation of a Los Angeles auxiliary bishop following allegations of misconduct with a minor. Bishop Alexander Salazar denies any wrongdoing. The alleged misconduct is said to have occurred in the 1990s before Salazar was ordained a bishop when he was serving as a parish priest. Vatican correspondent Juliet Lindley joins us from Rome. Juliet, what information has the Vatican released exactly? Wyatt, the Vatican announced the resignation in a one-line statement. No explanation was provided, but the current Archbishop of Los Angeles is speaking out. Archbishop Jose Gomez says the Archdiocese was made aware of the claim in 2005. Gomez says prosecutors declined to bring charges, but the Archdiocese forwarded the complaint to the Vatican office that handles sex abuse cases, and that's the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, and it imposed so-called precautionary measures against Salazar. A further investigation in Los Angeles by an independent review board found the allegation to be credible. Archbishop Gomez says Salazar has consistently denied any wrongdoing and the Archdiocese has received no other allegations against him. Gomez says that these decisions have been made out of deep concern for the healing and reconciliation of abuse victims and for the good of the church. Tell us more about Bishop Salazar's background. Well, the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops says Salazar was born in Costa Rica and later moved with his family to the U.S. He was ordained a priest in 1984 and served in various parishes. Pope St. John Paul II appointed him auxiliary bishop in 2004. And at that time, Cardinal Roger Mahoney was the Archbishop of Los Angeles. Mahoney himself has been accused of covering up for abusive priests and was barred from public ministry by Archbishop Gomez in 2013. However, as recently as this past November, he spoke publicly at the bishop's annual meeting in what was seen as a lecture to the current bishops on how to handle the current crisis. And Juliet, as you know, this resignation is just the latest in a string of cases of alleged misconduct against bishop. And as you know, they've thrown the church in America here in turmoil. Indeed. Wyatt, uh, in July, Pope Francis ordered Theodore McCarrick, the retired Archbishop of Washington, to a life of prayer and penance following allegations of abuse of a minor. And the Pope also accepted McCarrick's resignation from the College of Cardinals, although McCarrick remains an Archbishop. The scandal exposed loopholes in how the Church treats accusations of abuse against bishops who are only answerable to the Pope. Now, bishops have largely escaped the same scrutiny as ordinary priests that are accused of misconduct. Wyatt, and until recently, they have rarely been sanctioned or removed for covering up for abusers. Okay, we'll continue to follow this and see if the Vatican releases any more information. Juliet Lindley, Vatican correspondent for EWTN News Nightly. Thanks so much. Thank you, Wyatt. And stay with EWTN News Nightly, as well as our partners, Catholic News Agency and the National Catholic Register for continuing coverage of the abuse crisis.